In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear bumper assembly. On this Chevy Tahoe, this will be located mounted directly to the rear of your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you're going to want to do is make your way safely underneath the rear of the vehicle so we can start dismounting the rear bumper. Now from underneath the bumper, let's start by disconnecting our plate light assemblies. For this, we'll just reach up, grab onto that wiring harness, turn it counterclockwise, and remove it. Now we can follow that wiring harness. You're going to find that you have several connection points holding the wiring harness to the rear bumper. To remove these, we'll use some long nose pliers. Just go ahead and twist it around as needed to be able to find the two ears. Squeeze in on those ears and carefully pull this out of place. Make sure that it is still reusable. Let's continue following that towards the center. Here's where you'll find another connection point. Go ahead and squeeze on those two ears and separate the wiring here as well. Now for the rest of this, we'll make our way over towards the driver's side, just on the other side of the spare tire. Now we can remove the driver's side plate lamp as well. We'll just twist that counterclockwise, give that bulb a quick inspection. Now we can take hold of that wiring harness and we'll draw it all the way through towards the passenger side. At this point, you just wanna hang this out of your way. Now let's make our way to where there's two 21 millimeter headed mounting bolts that hold the trailer hitch area to the rear bumper. If your vehicle does not have a trailer hitch, you don't have to worry about this step. Inspect your mounting hardware as you remove it, replace it as necessary. At this point, let's use something underneath the bumper to hold it in place while we continue on along each corner of the vehicle. Now let's pay attention along the corner of the bumper. You're going to find that you have a bracket that holds the bumper to the frame. In this area, you'll find that you have two 17 millimeter headed bolts that come through the frame from the inside out towards this bracket and they're held in place with a 17 millimeter nut. Hold the bolt head with a 17 wrench and remove the mounting nut. Now we can remove that mounting bolt. Now we can grab the next mounting bolt on this side. Hold it with a wrench. Now we can move along to where the corner bracket meets onto the frame. In this area, you'll find that you have two 18 millimeter headed bolts that come through from the outside towards the inside of the frame. On the inside, you have two welded nuts. You don't necessarily have to do anything with those. We'll be removing each of these two 18 millimeter headed bolts. Now we can make our way over to the driver's side and do the exact same thing. We'll be using our 17 millimeter wrench on the inside of the frame and removing our 17 millimeter mounting nuts along the outside of the bracket. There's the mounting bolt. Let's get this other one. Now we're at the point we're going to remove our two final mounting bolts. Before we remove these, I want to mention these are the last two things holding this bumper in place. So make sure you're extremely careful. Just in case this comes free and potentially falls, I do not want it to hurt you.
Now, once you've removed the bumper support, take hold of that bumper and remove it from the vehicle. Now with the bumper out of the way, we're going to remove our two bumper brackets. You'll find one on each side. The process will be the same for either. Looking inside of this area where the body mount is located, you're going to find a 15 millimeter headed mounting bolt. Remove it. Now, if you have a trailer hitch on this, you'd want to look up inside this area of the trailer hitch. Otherwise, just look down along the bottom area of the frame for this 21 millimeter headed mounting bolt. <coughs> Take hold of the bracket and remove it from the frame of the vehicle. The process will be the exact same thing for the other side of the vehicle. Okay friends, let's get ready for the installation of our rear bumper assembly, starting with the two mounting brackets. We'll take these and slide them into position. Paying attention to these two holes, you want to make sure that those are properly aligned. Once you have those aligned, we'll continue on with our 15 millimeter headed mounting bolt inside next to where the body mount is located. We'll start this in by hand so we're sure we are not cross threading it into position. Once you have that one started, continue on underneath the trailer hitch or underneath the frame, depending on whether or not you have a trailer hitch, and start in the 21 millimeter headed mounting bolt. We're going to leave both of these loose and do the same exact thing on the other side of the vehicle. Now we can install the rear bumper. When we're doing so, we wanna pay attention to a few things. In the center of the bumper, you have the area for the spare tire removal tool to slide through. On the vehicle itself, you also have a tube. We need to make sure that we align those two and slide them into the proper position. While we're doing this, we'll put it up and on top of that trailer hitch and align our brackets. Now we can safely make our way underneath the vehicle. Now while we're under here, let's make sure that we put support underneath the rear bumper. Now that we have support under here, we'll start with the two center 21 millimeter headed mounting bolts. We are only going to start these in by hand. We do not want to snug these yet. We need to start in each of the mounting bolts before we tighten any of them. Let's remove the support. Now we can make our way to the corner of the rear bumper. The process will be the exact same thing for either side when we're installing these mounting bolts. Once again, we are not tightening any of the bolts until we have started every single one of them into the proper position. Next, continue on to your other two mounting bolts. These are the ones that have the nuts. We'll be putting the bolt through from the inside and then putting the nuts along the outside. At this point, we have one side of the mounting bolt started. Do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Then we can tighten everything as needed. Now that we have every single mounting bolt started into position, we can start snugging things up. Start at the center. Assuming you have your trailer hitch, make sure that you mount those bolts to the bumper itself. Now let's make our way to each corner. Now in each corner of the vehicle, we'll continue with tightening our 18 millimeter mounting bolts, and then we'll make our way rearward towards the 17 millimeter mounting nuts and mounting bolts. Now I'll get my wrench on that mounting bolt head and start tightening the mounting nut. Now let's make our way just underneath that body mount to our 15 millimeter headed mounting bolt. And next we'll make our way underneath the trailer hitch for our 21 millimeter mounting bolt under here. Now that we have all the mounting hardware tightened on the passenger side of the vehicle, do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the vehicle. Now we can continue on with our wiring harness. 
We'll take this and start putting it in position, bringing it up and over this area. Now I'll bring it around the spare tire. Once you have it in the proper placement, we'll continue on with securing it to the bumper. For this, we'll just take this little clip and slide it into proper position. Listen for a click, make sure that's secure. You don't want it dangling down and potentially getting caught and damaged. Make my way over. Now it's time for the plate lights. We'll take these and put them into the proper position. Turn it clockwise to lock it in. Double check to make sure that's nice and secure. Now I'll do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Okay friends, we fully installed our rear bumper assembly. At this point, hop inside the passenger compartment, put the key in the on position, and make sure you test your plate light functionality. Aside from that, feel free to take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.